Have you ever worked on a defense project or program that delivered a system in accordance with the contract and met all the specifications but did not meet the user's needs? Or maybe it required lots of modifications before fielding and final acceptance by the users? Hi, I'm Mac McKinney, and we are going to talk about that systems development challenge, understanding our users, and one tool that can help meet the challenge, the ConOps. Have you worked with defense project teams that never quite got it together, that just never seemed to gel into a coherent group of people working toward a single purpose to deliver a better capability to the warfighter, for example? Maybe where people seemed to work at cross purposes or were pursuing different agendas? In your meetings with military or intelligence community users of the systems you build, do you find those people sometimes speak a different language than you and your team, more than them using phrases or terms that are unfamiliar to you? Do they just seem to think differently than you and your developers and programs teams? Maybe they have an entirely different mindset than you? Over the past two decades, the U.S. Department of Defense and many contractors have attempted to pull together the two worlds of users and developers and to solve most system design and development problems related to mission suitability by using a tool called the Concept of Operations, or CONOPS. The intent has often been to capture the operations flavor of the system, how users will implement it, and especially what the commander's view of the system will be, in other words, how he or she will employ it. Many versions of these CONOPS documents have appeared through the years, ranging in complexity from simple superficial graphics to extremely detailed PowerPoint slide series and even very extensive thorough Word documents. But our research has shown that very few of these CONOPS templates or outlines were designed or architected primarily to support the developers and users of the systems. After all, commanders, while important users, are just one of many user groups that touch or benefit from defense systems. Our goal has been to document and, where possible, quantify what makes a good CONOPS, what components it should contain, and what an optimal document structure might be. Our team has studied defense systems and the associated CONOPS of each, the system's initial and final ops requirements, the relative difficulties in fielding complex systems, and the degree of acceptance from the user communities. Our ongoing research study of CONOPS types has included hands-on work with all branches of the U.S. military, the U.S. Special Operations Command, or SOCOM, the U.S. Central Command, or CENTCOM, the U.S. Intelligence Community, plus the governments of Italy, Hungary, Denmark, Sweden, and the United Arab Emirates. Across all the defense systems we studied, we found that some CONOPS styles are more useful than others for system development efforts, specifically for capturing users' intent and evolving requirements. But right at first, one glaring source of confusion was a lack of standardization for CONOPS content. The result was a CONOPS checklist and assessment guide that helped us identify shortfalls in any given CONOPS, so missing or weak sections could be identified and then improved or replaced. We also developed a stakeholder matrix to help capture and document the needs and biases of everyone interested in the system's eventual capabilities. And we built and tested on combat systems users a checklist for interviewing each of the four user groups to learn about their needs, biases, and plans. In the course of our research, we developed those three tools plus nine others, and together, they comprise a development-tailored approach to CONOPS that is optimized for complex systems engineering projects and geographically dispersed teams. This CONOPS hybrid has been tested since 2007 on actual deployed combat systems, and it has been refined and improved every year since then. We are now providing this special CONOPS template to the defense contractor community and the U.S. government at no charge. This is our team's contribution to the nation's warfighters and first responders. This technical CONOPS, as it is now called, is being used to help 
design engineers and military system users communicate better, collaborate on requirements, and in this era of agile design and digital twins, to document and track users' constantly evolving needs. It is also being used throughout the development and operations communities as a touchstone to document users' regular design inputs, the team's design decisions and trade-offs, and other key data not routinely collected anywhere else in the system engineering process. If you would like to learn more about ConOps in general, what they should be used for and what they should never be used for, plus how to staff a ConOps team and lead them using all 12 ConOps tools we have developed, sign up on our website at smoothprojects.org for either our two-hour crash course in C4ISR ConOps or our live, virtual, hands-on, 16-hour C4ISR ConOps Master Course, led by an experienced ConOps instructor and practitioner. In the meantime, email me at mac, M-A-C-K, at smoothprojects.org and put ConOps 21 in the subject line for our free ConOps template, our ConOps assessment guide, and our key points when interviewing users.